This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to talk about iOS 18, which just released today to the public, and I'm going to teach you guys the proper way to install this. Now, every year there are people that complain that when they update their phone bricked and something went wrong, and now they have to restore the phone. However, if you follow the steps in this video, there is a much less likely chance of that ever happening. So let's get right into this. First thing you want to do is make sure you have enough storage space on your phone. So you go into settings and you're going to scroll down until you see general iPhone storage. Click on that and just take a look and see how much you have left. You typically want to have about a quarter of your space left at the minimum. Now, obviously I have 75 gigabytes free, which is insane. So that's plenty. Uh, as long as you have above 20, you're probably fine. If you have 10, you're probably pushing it. So you might want to clean up some stuff first. Then once you do that, you're going to want to back out of settings. Once you clear up all that space, you're going to want to reboot your phone. However, you're going to want to reboot it the correct way. Instead of just holding the power up and volume button like this that everyone does and sliding, you're not going to do that this time. This time you're going to press volume up, press volume down, and then hold the power button. I'm only holding the power button and I'm going to keep holding it. Still holding it. I'll tell you when I let go. Still holding it. Still holding it. Still holding it. Still holding it and I am actually still holding it. I'm going to let go when I see the Apple logo. So right now, that's it. That is a hard reboot on your phone that will clear out all the junk. I do this about once a week. I've had issues that actually linger even if I power off the other way, but when I do a hard reboot like this, it clears up every issue every single time. That's how I know that this actually clears out a little bit more than the other reboot. So like I said, this hard reboot actually clears out a lot more junk files than the other way. Uh, so this is the way that I typically prefer. Now, I just unlocked my phone. It just went back on the Wi-Fi. It takes a minute for everything to kind of boot back up in the background. It may look like it's ready to go, but at this point I will let my phone sit for five to 10 minutes, unlock just like this, uh, so that everything in the background can kind of do what it needs. And now that iOS 18 is out, you just click on settings, scroll down to general, and then software update, and you are ready to go. It'll be right here uh, once Apple releases it at 1 p.m. Eastern time today. It'll pop up right here, and if you're not seeing it, just pull down to refresh and it should show up within about 20 minutes. Sometimes Apple's servers don't push it out right away. So if you're trying right at 1 p.m. today, Eastern time, it might not show up for like 20 minutes. Then you'll just download it, let it install and do its thing. You're gonna wanna make sure your phone has at least 50% battery, so charge it up. You can charge it while you're doing the update. That's totally fine. Now here's the key thing. Once this actually downloads, updates, install. And so you've got a fresh install of iOS 18 on your phone right now. You're going to want to, again, let your phone sit like this for about five to 10 minutes, let it do some background tasks, and then you're gonna reboot it again, the exact same way that we just did it. Volume up, volume down, and then hold power until you see the Apple logo. That's it. Once you do that, you're done. You can enjoy the phone. It's going to be caching and doing things in the background for the first couple days after you install iOS 18. And the way that you can see this, I don't know if this is on all iPhones or just the 15 models. If you go into settings and then battery, right here, it'll kind of tell you, hey, we're still doing stuff in the background. Mine right now only shows auto brightness, but your phone may show hey, the iPhone is still doing an update in the background. It's still caching files, going through all your photos and indexing them for you. So your battery life could be worse than usual for the next one to seven days. To speed this up, I recommend at nighttime, just lock your phone, stick it on a charger at night and leave it charged all night if you don't already do that. Do this for at least the first week. So overnight, it'll cache all your files. It'll index all your photos. And that way, hopefully in one of the mornings when you wake up, it'll be totally done and everything is finished. So that is the proper way to update to iOS 18. If this short and sweet video helped you, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family so they don't break their phones. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.